Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here and it's time for another Dad Bod to Daddy training day and today was leg day. Uh, today I decided to just do a bunch of singles, you know, I'm like, let's quit trying to mess with the machine, let's not mess with the sissy squats, let's get back to some basics. And I'm like, really, uh, you know, what has always been my best thing for, for quads, for me, low reps. Um, so I'm like, let's just work on singles. Let me just work on high bar squats. You know, I'm like, high bar squats, um, front squats. You know, a while back I came back and was doing this this last summer, right? Doing these this last summer. It was going along really well. So let's just come back and mess with a lot of that. Of course, doing high bar, uh, doing a, a narrower stance, no belt. This is obviously going to be more difficult, but again, hits my quads nice and hard, and that's what I want. So I just did a bunch of singles. I took a weight um, that I knew I could comfortably do singles with, and I'm like, let's just practice these. Uh, you know, and I feel like with a lot of this, so people would be like, so why are you going to train this way with squats? Um, mainly because my Friday is a leg day. Leg days can get grueling, and for me, I want them to be fun. A lot of my other training through the week is there, you know, to really continue to build the upper body, to work on aesthetics, bodybuilding, but I'm like, you know, as long as I do any form of leg work, my quads will grow again. I've had much bigger quads than I do now. Um, I've got muscle memory. Let's just come in and have fun. Let's just kind of athlete the lower body, right? Not even worry about uh, the bodybuilding so much for quads because my quads will will get big again if I just keep squatting. Uh, and I'm like, so let's let's do what I know is, is fun, that I know is going to work. Um, because obviously if I go deep on this stuff, uh, the quads will get the stimulus. My quads have never required a lot of reps. I've done a lot of phases with high reps, but I've also built big quads on low reps. You know, again, just doing some, some one to three reps. When I was back in the UK, I had pretty dang big quads, got my squad up to 500. Uh, so let's just have fun with it. All right, and to me, doing a bunch of reps for leg isn't fun, but I kind of enjoy the heavy singles. Uh, and I used to, the only time that went away was when I did that Bulgarian light training for a while and was doing a squat single uh, training max every single day. Um, that eventually got to me. But coming in and just doing these, all right, let's just work on the movement pattern. And you guys notice as I did these, it got smoother and smoother and smoother. It got smoother. Like, yeah, let's just take this high bar position. You know, it's easy on my shoulders. Uh, don't deal with any of the complications of low bar. The only downside is that it does feel a bit hard on my core. But we're doing beltless training now. I'm doing uh, ab work every day. I feel like over time that's just going to correct itself. So let's just get in and just do the movement patterns. I mean, even doing this last summer, I had gotten back up to, what was it, like 450 for a high bar squat with a pause at the bottom. Um, I, I can get back to that. I can get back to that. And I can do it while working aesthetics and losing body fat everywhere else. Now, I think you guys can see, as of now, some of the water's finally coming off, dropped carbs down. So I think, uh, given another week or two, we're going to see some good improvements. Because I'm noticing here, normally my leg day, my midsection always looks squishier because I'm not getting the pump in the upper body. <laughs> uh, so I think when we look at it here, I can kind of see the difference. So I did, I think, six singles with uh, the high bar squats. I'm like, let's work, let's work front squats. I haven't done these really at all this year, but now my shoulders feel good enough. Everything's good enough. I can do these. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't painful. I was able to maintain the position. Now, obviously, I'd like to get my elbows a little higher. But as long as I keep my chest up, I'm going to be okay and not dump it. So I do want to keep working all the stretching. So I'm going to do stretches and stuff so I can work front squats. Because the front squats will carry over to the high bar squat for me. Okay, It will give me more volume that's easy to recover from. And that's the thing. Uh, you know, doing this work here, even with the singles, it feels like it's really easy on recovery. Very easy on recovery for me. Uh, so again, ended up doing a, a bunch of singles. Uh, and it's really hot. If my air conditioner turns on, I may just end the recording. Uh, it's it's hot right now. I don't want the, the AC. I don't want to have to go manually turn it off. So if it turns on, um, you know, maybe the end of the vlog. So I'm just going to talk of what I'm doing. So I built up with these. I did, you know, 135, 155. Then did the 185, and they felt good. I feel like I could just build up from here. I did like six singles with the 185. Okay. Uh, felt pretty good. 
no real discomfort there. Uh, notice my triceps got really stressed. My triceps are really hurting this week. I had uh, some tricep knobs from the training and I had it something we're going to go into what happened. A minor thing happened outside the gym that really put a lot of stress on those and they feel om almost borderline like I almost pulled my left one. So it's a little bit sore today and I did notice that after I did these, right? Um, but that's okay, I'll deal with it. I'll hopefully I'll have the weekend to recover from all of it. But yeah, so just doing these, these front squats, trying to go deep, nothing wide stance. I'm keeping the stance is kind of narrow uh, and the logic behind that, let's just work the quads. Put the quads in the deepest lengthened positions possible. Let's just get the most tension possible on them. Uh, and by doing singles on all this stuff, it's not the most efficient for building muscle, but it will build muscle with enough of them, okay? Uh, and I, I think that's gonna be the thing. I just wanna have fun, uh, fun on the lower body day. And to me, this is a lot more enjoyable than trying to grind out reps on squats, uh, doing the 30 reps, sissy squats, trying to do the belt squat machine. Let's just, just get to the basics. You know, just lots of low reps, back squats, front squats, all that stuff, okay? all that stuff and then I'm like well, let's do some calf work now calves I don't mind doing really high reps on so you know I, I get over to the calf work and I'm like well, I can do high reps on these this would be the one exercise I really will probably benefit from ultra high reps why I'm trying to lose body fat and since walking is kind of my, my biggest cardio at this point think about that so if I just pump the calves back up build the calves up I'll burn through more calories while I'm walking but I'm trying to avoid too much uh, serious fatigue in the muscles again I'm cutting right now uh, and gonna strip down for the rest of the summer uh, I need to be careful about too much muscular fatigue so we're getting in and just getting quality work in so it's, a, it's a, you know a lot of moderately heavy reps uh, with, with moderate volumes on the upper body. And, but we can't call that low volume. I hate it when people try to say, oh, eight or 10 sets is low volume. It really isn't. It's never been considered low volume in the history of the world. Uh, it's just people have these ideas. Keep in mind, when bodybuilders used to talk about even, oh, 15 sets of body part, everyone called it high volume when Mr. Olympias were doing it. Keep that in mind. It's just that the world has changed. People have these strange ideas now about volume um, in a lot of these circles. Uh, but yeah, a couple sets of 20 on the calf raises. They burn like hell. My calf's got a good pump. Uh, I figure, yeah, we'll work calves a little bit. Let's just keep working the calves. Uh, but yeah, so for me, uh, a lot of what I'm doing on the leg day is really just about having fun. I've already hit big squats in the past. You just saw me break state records. I've also, you've seen guys have seen me do 605, a little, obviously a bit high on a camber bar years ago. I don't feel like I have anything to prove with squatting. I just want to have fun on my leg days, build a little bit of leg muscle to help, help with health, overall aesthetics, uh, and then just enjoy myself. I don't want to come in and let leg days be grueling. It's my last training day of the week. I just like it to be fun. And you know, messing with some high bar squats and front squats for singles, that's fun. Then we do calves and abs afterwards. So taking this narrower grip, I feel like it's really going better on the hanging leg raises. I feel like I get a better grip. Uh, I'm able to get a better range of motion at the top. So I'm just gonna run with it. So we finish with a set of these. All right guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.